All new at 6, a $10,000 reward for information leading to the person who abused a Tulsa dog. Atlas is recovering tonight, and it's thanks to the help of the Humane Society of Tulsa. Two Works for You's Dane Hawkins has more on the search for Atlas's abuser and how you can help find the dog a home. We do want to warn you, though, that uh, some people might find pictures like this right here a little disturbing. I survived human abuse, yes. With one look at Atlas, he'll melt your heart. But a closer look might also break it. But to see a deliberate case of animal cruelty and just to see him so downtrodden was very difficult. Dr. Kristen Hack first met Atlas Thursday night when the Humane Society of Tulsa emergency crew brought him in to the Woodland Central Animal Hospital. He was just terrified and just looked defeated. Atlas's face had been beaten, his fur set on fire, his ears injected with glue and his legs bound with ropes. He wouldn't walk. We weren't sure if he could. Creek County Sheriff deputies had found him, abandoned in a field, and left to die. I mean, it was deliberate cruelty. I just think you have to be a monster. Oh. Despite the cruelty that Atlas endured, his doctors say he still has a heart of gold. He's a very good boy. He's going to make someone a very good, very good family member. So as he quickly heals, a really good prognosis for his recovery. Those who've been by his side hope Atlas will know only love from now on. No one's going to hurt you. Dane Hawkins, two works for you. It's a good looking dog. Now again, if you know who abused Atlas, call the Humane Society. Atlas should be available for adoption in a couple of weeks.